Today, we're diving into an incredibly powerful feature in Excel, conditional formatting. Whether you are managing data like student scores or analyzing trends, conditional formatting can help you visualize your data at a glance. Conditional formatting in Excel allows you to automatically apply formatting like colors, icons, or data bars to cells that meet certain criteria. This feature is perfect for highlighting specific data points, such as student scores that are above or below a certain threshold. As you can see in this table, the first step is to select a range of cells that you want to format. For example, we will highlight the average score column under conditional formatting button. Click on to open the drop down menu. Let's start by highlighting all scores above 80. I will select highlight cell rules and then greater than or equal to. And then choose a formatting style. Click OK and done. Conditional formatting with formulas is a powerful way to customize how your data is displayed based on multiple conditions. For example, in this data set, we want to highlight students who completed their course in 2020 and achieved a score of 70 or higher. First, select the range of cells you want to apply the formatting to. For this example, I will select the entire table, but you could also just select the relevant columns like average score and year completed. Click on conditional formatting and then select new rule. In the new formatting rule dialog box, select Use a formula to determine which cells to format. In the formula box, enter AND, open bracket, absolute value E3, greater or equal to 70. Checks if the student score is 70 or higher. F3 equal 2020. 20. Now, choose your preferred formatting style. I will go with a white fill and a blue bold font to make this cell stand out. Click OK and Excel will apply the formatting. As you can see, Excel has highlighted the students who completed their courses in 2020. Conditional formatting with formulas allows you to Apply custom formatting to cells that meet specific conditions. For instance, if you want to highlight students who returned their books after the due date, this feature is perfect. I will show you how you do that using this data set. The first step is to select the range of cells you want to format. For this example, I will select the return date, click on conditional formatting, and then choose new rule. Here, you select use a formula to determine which cells to format. This option lets us create a custom formula. Now, enter the formula. E1 refers to the cell containing the due date, which is the 10th of August 2024. Now pick a formatting style that will stand out. I will go with a red field to indicate over two books. Click OK and Excel will apply the formatting. As you can see, Excel has highlighted the students who retain their books after due date. 
Okay, I'm going to change to 25th of July, 2024. This makes it easy to spot overdue returns at a glance. Now, let's see how we can apply our concepts to the change in percentage column. The first step is to select the range of cells where you want to apply the eye concepts. For this example, we will focus on the percentage change column. Click on conditional formatting and then choose eye concepts from the drop down menu. Excel offers several types of eye concepts, including directional arrows, traffic lights, and more. For this data set, let's choose the directional eye concept. Excel allows you to customize how these icons are applied. Here you can define the exact threshold for each icon. As you can see, the icon sets give us a quick visual indicator of each staff member's performance change. Green arrows highlight significant improvements. Yellow indicates little to no change. And red flags a decrease in performance. Finally, we are going to explore how to use the rank function in a combination with conditional formatting to highlight top performers in our student data sets. We will also dive into the using data bars for visual representation. Let's jump right in. Let's start by identifying the top five students using the rank function. The first step is to select a range where you want to apply the conditional formatting. In this case, the average score column. Click on conditional formatting and then choose new rule. Select use a formula to determine which cells to format. This will allow us to highlight only the top five scores. Enter the formula. Let's apply a formatting style to make this top score stand out. I will use a bold blue font with a light fill color. Click OK. Next, let's add another layer of insight using data bars to visually represent all these scores. Head back to conditional formatting, then choose data bars and pick a gradient fill style. As you can see, the combination of conditional formatting with the rank functions and data bars gives you a powerful way to analyze students' performance. The top five scores are highlighted and the data bars provide a quick visual cue of where each student stands. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao, see ya.